What you're looking at is a roller that they use to prepare the pitch here in Sharjah. It's very, very heavy. <laughs> okay. We, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna bat. What's uh, the main reason for that? Yeah, it's a pretty good pitch. Uh, we want to just put uh, that around on the pit, on, on, onto the opponents and uh, just put them under pressure. Mm. Looks a pretty good pitch. Mm. Looking forward to the captaincy again. This is the second time round, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I always enjoy it and uh, I'm really keen to win this game. Mm. In the days, the Shada feeding is all we know has, has done really well in Shah Jamran for it. Uh, probably a, with the find of the New Zealand tour where he batted really well with a lot of confidence, very young at 18. And then there's Yunus Khan who has rediscovered himself along with Nzamamullah who will be providing him with a lot of support in the middle of the innings. And then there is uh, Mohammed Sami who is an exciting fast bowler, only 20. And what it does, it actually provides Pakistan with a platform really to feel well. The fielding department would improve and also there's a Humayun Farad, the new wicket keeper. Right, well there's the Pakistan side. Let's have a quick look at the uh, Sri Lankan one. Uh, some very familiar names there. Sanat Jayasaria, Little Kalu is uh, there as well. And uh, Marvanada Padu Kumar Sangakara, he's been playing very well lately. Jai Wadhan, a good player coming in the middle order. The Sadam Arnold, Vas Zoysa and uh, Mathaya Murali Didan. And Akalanka Gune Gama. He's uh, on debut here and uh, he's just 20 years of age a medium fast bowler. It'll be interesting to see how he goes today. Oh, Shahid Afridi opening the batting uh, again uh, up at the top of the order for Pakistan and uh, Saeed Anwar is out there with him. So, uh, well, it's uh, ready to go. Everything's set for the ARY Gold Cup 2001 in the commentary box, Ian Chappell and Ramiz Raj. The first ball to save. Two slips for Shamin Devas. Said Anwar, as is so often the case, immediately into uh, the scoring. Not sure how well he timed that one, but it didn't go all that quickly across the field. The field does look uh, very lush, maybe a little slower than what we've seen it before. The youngster had a, had a difficult series in New Zealand where he was uh, up against a few tricky batches, a few tricky wickets, but seems to have a good potential. Straight pass mid on. Shah Saria giving chase. Well, it wasn't too slow straight down the ground. Uh, so the outfield might be lush. But I think if you time the ball well, you'll reach the boundary. Beautifully timed by Said Anwar. On the rise, didn't have to go to the pitch of the delivery. Once again, getting the ball away through the onside, this time straighter. Timing was very good. We should be looking for two here. That's a good shot. Very good placement from Said Anwar. Brings up another boundary. Exxon over. Pakistan. Uh, 15 without loss. I'll have to check with my informant on Zahir's four double century not outs because uh, Dina, our statistician, has just told me only one of them was a not out. Just got hold of it well enough to clear the uh, mid on fieldsman. Bring up another boundary for Pakistan. This is a very good start. the morning so far, so done very really well to that one. That's a good save and it, uh, well, it almost caused a mix-up. That's why that point area is so important in the field. A little bit of conference between Saeed and Shad Afridi because uh, there was a little hiccup in the runner. Said Anwar striking the ball once again nicely and looking for a run. Coming out of his crease and Shahid Afridi responding. 
Sodan White kept watching the ball. So if he was going to do that, he really should have called wait to uh, give his partner a warning that uh, not to get into top gear. We have a short, uh, short point position now. And it's the cover fieldsman, Adapatu, who's uh, dropped the catch, I think. He's always a full to batsman with a slightly slower delivery. He was also a little bit disappointed because Sodanwell was once again looking to drive the ball on the rise. A slower delivery from Zoysa. And there you see the bat away from the front pad. And Atapatu looking to feel the ball. He's looking that the ball would come to him. And it dropped just at the time. He had to come up to collect that one. Haven't been able to stop the boundaries. That is a glorious shot. Even better than the one that he hit earlier of Zoysa. Oh, that's a magnificent shot. That's going to clear the rope by miles. In fact, it's up on the roof and see you later. Crowds have uh, come exactly for this. Shaila Fuhi, having uh, a word with Sodan, but now he's trying to uh, tell him to stay out there. And uh, he's got to back his natural instinctive stroke play, which is uh, marvelous to see. Really hit that one hard. Picked it up early. And uh, almost hit that one on the front foot. Huge well, the ball's come back and it's got some tram tickets uh, pinned on it. I think it's been that far. Perhaps bus tickets around this part of the world. In the seventh over, forty-three Pakistan cruising. Pretty once again clearing the infield. Very, very strong in the arms, uh, Shahid Afridi. He's gone this time, looking to again heave it over the wicket. He's only found Russell Arnold. And Sri Lanka have struck here early. Johnny Gama in his very first over has picked up Afridi. That is always on the card with Shahid Afridi. He has some very powerful shots and from very early in his innings, but does tend to get a bit carried away. Not really the right length again for that shot. Unable to get under the ball to loft it over the infield. And Russell Arnold taking up a good catch. It's 49 for one. And he's off the mark straight away. The 50 coming up for Pakistan with that single. Excellent placement. Great shot from Sailando. Here, shot with wicket. Didn't quite time it, but the ball will still reach the boundary. Now that's wrapped for the pass. That's going to be closed. The finger has gone up. So what a start for the young man, Johnny Gama. He's picked up his second wicket. Imran Farad, the man dismissed. Well, Dave Orchard took a longer look at this one. I think he had a chance to call the length. It was much cooler. Let's see where he pitched it. Certainly pitched in line, straightened it off. Now that is plum. He did everything that he needed to do with the Garigama. Pitch it in line, get it to straighten. Get him well below the knee roll. Absolutely no doubt. He had none, Dave Orchard had no doubt. It's six to one for two. Pakistan maintaining a good run rate, but Sri Lanka pulled things back by picking up a couple of wickets. In Samam will have as a new man. 
now gets a chance to be on strike. Tani Gama picking up two wickets and two overs. It is the call for prayer. That's walked away on the onside. No chance of cutting this one off. So the first boundary for Inzaman. These two now represent the big danger for Sri Lanka. They'll uh, be hoping Pakistan that uh, a good partnership develops here. Side on one, Inzamam, very experienced. Oh, and what a way to start after the green strike. That is a glorious cover drive. All the way for four. Lovely shot, they say, then. Well, you really saw him run for it. Miss one. He was uh, trapped well in front of the wicket, and so done well. Showing a lot of class here. Driving beautifully through the offside. Nice follow through. Dani Gama pitching the ball just a little up to the left hander and finding the gap as he's done right throughout this innings. That's four as well. Yes, it's a bit difficult when um, Saidan was going. I don't care who you are as a bowler. You're likely to take a little bit of hammer. And uh, this young man, Akaluna Dani Gama, has. Uh, Straight on that occasion, not that far actually, the pitch just outside leg stump is my guess, and uh, it was beautifully played away, and of course if you haven't got a fine leg, you've only got that man close up, there's always a chance of a four there as well, so uh, very delicately played away. Yes, knew exactly where the finger was, so then uh, once again very wristy. In the air and four, well... <laughs> brought up his half century and he placed the shot perfectly it's the end of the over it's 86 for two
probably hit into the breeze, which means that it, uh, it would have dropped a little quicker than the fieldsman perhaps anticipated. the crease so he was certainly much better off slid it in on this occasion it would have been a close call if he had elected to drop the bat over the line instead of sliding it across the line and safe he would have considered himself very very unfortunate to get run out at this stage Perfectly, but he has safe hands once he gets 
those hands on the ball with usually sticks. Lorelito Ron fights back, but he explains it earlier on, but he's fighting back well. This is his second wicket. Took it a bit low down. Could have perhaps taken a couple more steps and taken it a bit higher, but he took it nonetheless. 204 for five. And it showed Malik now uh, taking guard. Nobody better than Gunagama. He's made a very impressive debut, both in bowling and in the field. Very big man, Gunagama. Oh. He's bowling. Not sure whether it was a direct hit. It may have just brushed the batsman's pads and then gone onto the stumps. But Sri Lanka doing very well in this period. Doing brilliantly. Yeah, so we are really mixing up his deliveries, slow deliveries, quick deliveries, full tosses, low full tosses. And this was another very good one. Giving Abdul Razak absolutely no room, just following him, giving himself a bit of room to try to get through the onside. Followed him, gave him no room, and just came off his thigh back onto the stumps. 220 for 6. When you think they were staring at about a 280, uh, total 270. Oh, no. That's a handy boundary. And Mooley Duran is not happy at all. Well, he's, he's got it back to the stumps, asked the question, but uh, the umpire all should uh, shaking his head. back. I think it's excellent work from Sangakara. Full toss. Didn't quite have it. It's touch and go here. Yes, I think he's pulled it back. We're going to see if his legs were on the ground when he pushed it back. And that's fine. And I think he's done very well there. May have just touched it, but I think he's done well here. That's good cricket from Sangakara. I think uh, that's excellent work for Empire Hampshire. I don't know what the message was, but... Well, this could be close. And, uh, well, yes, I think you've got to have a look at that. That was very good fielding, actually. <laughs> Jai Surya had one stump time out there, he aimed at it, he let it rip, and he hit it. Yes, and he attacked it all the way. There's no question of uh, half measures there. He's always going for the run out. Very often we've seen direct hits normally find the batsman short of his ground. And uh, he's out by a long way. And when does the bail fall? How <laughs> very the red light flashed. Now that's uh, interesting. You mentioned the bales did fall, but when did they fall? But it doesn't matter now, the red light has been flashed. <laughs> yes, well, we're going to have to have another look at that one, that's for sure. 237 for 7. Uh, in cricket, just lately in, uh, in Sri Lanka, and of course uh, the team seem to keep their heads down and just keep going, which is a credit to these guys. They um, and, and their leadership. And one has to say that uh, Sanachai Sadir should be included in that. One or two of their senior players as well. That's in the air. This could be caught. Who's going to get underneath it? Who's calling for it? Yes, it's taken. Sanachai Sadir. Who else? Into the action there. Calling for it and taking it. Yes, very good catch in the end because uh, the man from long off was also running in. It might have been easier for that man running in. Stuart Malik was looking for the big one. Uh, not quite.
right middle of it. Getting it right at the bottom of the bat. Surya was always calling early, calling aggressively. And that man with long off just slowing down, allowing the captain to go for it. And a very good catch in the end. So Shoaib Malik departing for 24, 245 for it. I mentioned five bowlers in the Pakistan uh, lineup. They've got two specialist off spinners. That could be handy. Oh, that's out caught behind, surely. Big noise there and through the keeper. Yes, I think Saklain was uh, just asking the question in respect of whether it carried. It seemed to me to be uh, a big noise, Ravi. Saklain seems to be totally surprised here. And he was looking for the big one. Looking to heave it away. Let's see if we hear something here. In the bottom edge, good take by Kaluvatana there. In Pakistan, they've lost their ninth wicket. 251 for nine. And the pad not out, says the umpire. It'll be one should they come back for two. Wakai says that'll do. It'll uh, just end up in a suicidal run. So that's the end of the innings. Pakistan have managed to get their score to 255 for nine in the 50 overs. Sri Lanka really have done well here. They've got through their overs uh, nice and quickly. Obviously it helps when you've got uh, a fair few spinners. Mithai Mulidharan, Jai Surya, of course, and also Russell Arnold. All of them um, making a contribution here, but uh, they certainly kept things moving. Said Un was the, the real uh, danger man for them. He played very well, got himself to 90. I think he got a little bit tired at the end there. Eventually he was out caught by Arnold of the bowling of Murali Duran for 90. Afridi actually at the top of the innings was the man who caused the problems. 18 balls for his 21. He had one huge six. Then a couple of wickets fell. Inzamam took his time. He really looked as if he was setting himself for 100 as well, but uh, that wasn't to be. And then a few useful uh, contributions there from uh, Khan, who made 37. The Razak and the Malik were always under pressure to try and lift the run rate. And, uh, of course, at the end, things tended to, uh, to really flatten out a little bit, 255-49. You can see down at the bottom there, Jai Surya and Arnold did very well. They were the most economical of the bowlers. Also, Vass at the top, not uh, going for quite five and over. So they did very well. And, uh, well, I, I think that they're fielding two back the bowlers up very well. Jai Surya did a pretty good job in the field. He, he decided to use uh, a little bit more of his spinners than he did of his seamers, and it worked very well for them. Uh, apart from the one catch, of course, uh, Marvin Adepadu, uh, if he'd have caught uh, early on, if he'd have taken his catch early on, then who knows what would have um, happened to this uh, lineup. Well, they've got their chance now, the openers, uh, the Sri Lankan openers, they need 256 to win. Sanat Jai Surya striding out there with his old mate. Sanat Jai Surya and Ramesh Kaluwadharana. For their part, Pakistan have uh, plenty of variety in their attack. They've got uh, some quick bowlers in the captain, Waka Yunus, Muhammad Sami, Abdul Razak, all, uh, all quite lively bowlers. And then you've got uh, plenty of spin. Waka to Sinatra Surya. A little bit of movement there for Waka Yunus. The difficulties, uh, Michael, of being a bowling captain. Any thoughts there?
good shot. Well, he's been threatening to beat the field. He struck the ball nicely two or three times in this over. And you'll see the captain, Waka Yunus, having a quick talk with Mohamed Sami, telling him he has to adjust his length. It's not a half volley. Not, not a half volley by any means. Man is a deep backward square leg now. He's got a long chase. Eunice Khan out there. That was a good delivery, just wide of the keeper. Right start for Abdul Razak, and he can't get there. so far. Ten runs from four deliveries. Well, we'll see about that so by the end of the evening. Metaphorically, she's talking about, obviously. Well, that's a very good shot. Three boundaries in the over for Carla Udana. That's a good one for Sri Lanka. It's 40 for one. Dance is just short, down the leg side, it's running away, this outfield pretty quick, and it's gone to the fence. Well, it sounded woody, but uh, as it's turned out, it was leg buyers. It was 10 days, normally about that time, a couple of times a year they get it. About the third man, two more. Just a few knees in New Zealand recently. In the air, no slip. Oh, that's happened a couple of times now. Well, if you slash hard, there's always a chance uh, you're going to get a bit of an edge, but it will fly fast and there's no slip there, so that's four. Well, that's into the gap and that is four. Little Kalu is starting to unleash a few shots, that time not finding the fieldsman all the way to the boundary for four. So that takes him now onto 35 or 34. Oh, it's an edge again, but uh, not quite carrying. Yes, it's, uh, it's a pretty flat pitch, this one, and uh, that one too seemed to go down. It was actually pretty well stopped by the keeper. Kumayan getting a glove to that one, but certainly not a catch. Fast reflex is required because uh, Mohammed Sami can be uh, sharp at times. Razak continuing. Oh, and in the air and just wide of uh, short extra cover. We hear uh, almost the whole stadium sighing there as Inzamam went up to his right. A lot of support in the ground here today for the Pakistan team. A tremendous power. Excellent timing and placement by Kalu Vitana there to end the over. 75 for one. And the crowd has built up here at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. That's good running. That's good cricket by Kalu Vitana. That's brought up his half century. This 51st in one internationals and it's come of just 54 balls. Thank you, Barton, 21st. That's beautifully ball, excellent piece of bowling. Ball from a little wider, it was tossed wider. And it was the delivery that went on with the arm, the top spin up. That's Fox Adapadu. 
Well, it's not to be the big score uh, from Marvin Adipa to uh, today. Congratulations there from the master to the apprentice. And a good piece of stumping by Himayan. He had the bales off very quickly. That's good work. The keeper picked it uh, easily. Good piece of bowling. Sri Lanka, 88 for two. The new man out in the centre is Maila Chavadana. on this occasion, that's a good shot. Beautifully placed by Kalu. Picked it up early. And that is the reason why he was able to replace that mid-wicket and score like Fieldsman. Once again, he did make the ball quite beautifully. And the gap, no problem there whatsoever. Hitting it with the spin, always a safe option. But rather than playing against it through the offside, the right handers uh, do find it touch easy playing the ball towards the onside. Hold him. They needed that to get Pakistan. That's a big wicket. Kalu Raverna was uh, clearly being. Uh, Troubled by Shrad Malik and Sitlan Mashad being frustrated because he wasn't really being given the luxury to hit boundaries. He was unable to work the ball away as a result. Had to create a shot for himself. Very good bowling by the youngster. Flighted the ball cleverly, cleverly. And there you see, missing it all together. Bullseye. An important wicket. Carlo Wadena has gone for 63 and that's Sri Lanka one for three. That is well played. We'll go all the way. In the I'm able to pull that one back. again right into the gap as well. Sangakara getting that one away. They played these delicate little late cuts, haven't they? Waiting for the ball. Oh no. Diving lessons. Definite diving lessons. <laughs> the timing of that late cut was good. The timing of the dive, not so good. 134 for three. Such a 
good player, Sangatara. It doesn't need to go and try to hit sixes into the longest corner of the ground. So the bowling change has worked for the Pakistanis. This one coming on to him a little slower than he expected. Didn't quite get the timing right. And a pretty straightforward chance here for Imran Farad. Ball in the air for a long time. He had enough time to judge it. And uh, he takes it cleanly. So Sri Lanka have lost another wicket. Sangakara gone for 11, 135 for 4. Yes, uh, out there with his new hairstyle. And uh, no cap and ready to roll. Russell Arnold can, uh, can be a very good player. Fielded very well done. Yes, they've set good standards today. Yunus uh, doing well diving away to his right. That was right into the gap as well. It's very enthusiastic. Yunus Kanda. Uh, again, the appeal. This time the finger goes up. It is always on the cards. A previous the one who gets the ball just skip through after pitching. And this hit drove out the main line. Yes, he certainly hasn't been turning yet. It's been skidding on. What a big wicket that is for Pakistan. This could be a close game now. I think it's probably swung in the favour of uh, Pakistan. Let's have a look at this. Puts him just outside uh, or on the line and then hitting him yeah, around about middle and leg. I, I don't think he was that far forward. He'd been hitting him, yes, and he thought about it for a long time. Umpire Orchard giving it out. 151 for five. India watching it on Sony Max, PTV in Pakistan. ARY Digital, KBS in North America, Fox Sports taking uh, it down in the Middle East and Australia. That's a lovely shot, straight down the ground. Very, very good. More of those are required if Sri Lanka are going to win this match. That's the way to play them, nice and straight. That's a good shot. Sarkhane has a lot of territory to cover. Can't get there. experimenting with uh, slow delivery. Well, that one uh, has come on a little quicker. The batsman certainly enjoyed the extra pace from the harder ball. Oh, he's gone right through the left hand at Arnold. So he likes to strike early in his spell. Wakai Yunus. A slow one, a leg cutter from Wakai Yunus, deceived the left hander completely. And it's a huge wicket. And there you see uh, that off spin grip and uh, hitting the middle stump. Played all over it. And what a vital breakthrough. Once again being provided by the Pakistani captain. And he's delighted. One for 25 in Sri Lanka now, 201 for six. Retire Nuri Duran has been uh, promoted to get things moving. That's the way he plays. Big shout for run out, but umpire Cowie doesn't even call for the replay. Morley picked up the slow one from Wakai Yunus. Whipped it away towards that mid wicket. Sammy, not a very good throw. On the bounce a couple of times. And safely in. Well, he's found the 
the gap. But the ball has found the fence, despite the efforts there of Sarkwain. as the batsman yes I agree I think it's a little premature to be um, lighting the fireworks just yet oh this will be class if he hits oh and he's missed it well one stump to aim at tried to underarm the ball at the stumps it was certainly a chance of a run out around the world would want it to be uh, certainly within two or four inches oh he's blazed that one away what a good shot what a vital shot that was to Salem he's playing superbly here he's come in when uh, the Sri Lankans have uh, just looked like they were going to collapse in a heap and he's the one who's holding it together at the moment that's why Samin Navas took that chance of being run out to get the singles to put the CRM back on strike on strike a shot give himself room and punched it through the offside has now resulted in a field change Bakayun is now pushing mid off right back to long off I think he was going to throw the bat anyhow. So um, I think when he when he has a little talk to his coach and uh, and captain, I think they might just explain that to him. The Sarum um, really uh, all over the place. That was uh, a good diving attempt after the event. And he goes for it down into the gap at mid wicket. One bounce over the fence for four. Chaminda Vos, he likes that area. They may have to have a rethink down there. And, uh, oh, the left-handers. Vos on strike. He's got 11 off 11. He's doing his stuff for Sri Lanka. Oh, and he's hit this one straight down the ground for four. That's a magnificent shot, Chaminda Vos. Well, this could be his day. When, uh, when he does strike them, he can strike them really well. Suck lane. He's lost over. Down the wicket he goes, straight down the ground. This is running away down towards the boundary. Will it be four? Yes, beautifully played. What a good shot. Oh, this is, could be a close game. Akalanka. Still five balls to go. 17 to get off 11. It's possible. Feel there for LBW. 
W. He thought about it for a while, and uh, well, up went the finger. Very good delivery from Saki Mushtaq. Wasn't afraid to give the ball a bit of air. Have a look here. It has to pitch in line and straighten. It did exactly that. Pitched in line, hit him in line, and that certainly was going on to the stumps. The slow death. Nine down for Sri Lanka. 239 on the teams. Oh, a ball, and they asked the question, and they want the replay. Don't tell me, don't tell me he's out stumped. Don't tell me he dragged his back foot. Well, this will be a little sad if he's out stumped. First ball. Another beautiful delivery from Sacklin. Again, he gave it some air. Again, it was a drifter. Let's have a look. I think his toe's in the air. I think it's up. Yeah, I think that's a great stumping. His toe's up in the air. I think it's going to be the red light. I'm afraid, Akalanka, you're going to have to go. That's it. Victory to Pakistan. of a second and the bales were taken off by Humayun beautifully done Sakti Mushka comes to the party didn't take any wickets earlier on Sakti but was very economical and when it mattered he got the two wickets the last two Sakti Mushka Waka Yunis Congratulations to Pakistan. They did very well to win this game. Uh, they didn't get as many runs as they should have done. They ended up uh, at one stage too, looking as if they were having a bit of a problem in the field. However, they stuck to their guns. And um, that was their score. They scored 255 for nine, despite uh, a magnificent performance by Anwar 90. They should have perhaps scored uh, a little bit more than that. But uh, 255 for nine, I suppose, batting first in good conditions. You at least got them in the bank. That's the, uh, the way they looked at it and, uh, at the end of the day. Well, they uh, turned out to be enough. Only just, mind you. From Sri Lanka's point of view, well, that's their bowling figures. And I, I thought that uh, Jai Suriya used his bowlers really well today. He sort of set